Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be another K-Beauty speed reviews, one of these videos where I give you longer term updates on products that I've hauled in the past. Today's video is going to be a very fun one. I'm going to update you on products including the Neogen Essence, which I've had a lot of questions on, the Blackberry, wait, Mary and May Blackberry. I think I just almost renamed this company Blackberry. The Mary and May Blackberry Essence, finally ready to chat about that. Oh goodness, I should say I actually have some J Beauty in today's video. So all of these products are products that I purchased with my own money, except for the R&W product coming up today, which was a gift from a lovely friend. And really quickly, before we get into today's video, I just want to really quickly say, if you are an American watching this, I know not everyone is, but if you are, please make sure to vote. It's too important. We all have to make sure that we vote. Okay, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this routine. I would like to start with the Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Cleansing Water. I like to use products like this as a basic morning cleanser. I find that I don't always need to, uh, you know, cleanse my skin with a cleanser twice a day. Something like this can be sufficient, probably because my skin type does lean a bit more dry. And with this product, Innisfree is highlighting the blueberry extract, which is a source of antioxidants. It contains 25 parts per million. You don't really need too much if you're just looking for antioxidants. Now, it does have a smell, this particular product, it does smell quite sweet to my nose. If you notice, my skin looks a little more rough. I actually had a, a situation with an AHA last week. I feel like I just cannot use those ingredients at all anymore. It's so frustrating, but it's, it's you know almost become a dappling or AHA for me. So I am still trying to be more gentle on my skin and also check this out. <laughs> I fell asleep with my glasses on. So I will need to make sure to work around the cut that I have on my face today. That's just a, that's just a side note. Anyway, anyway, bottom line with this, I think it's fine. I will say I like the fresh cleansing treatment more, but it's a lot more expensive. And so far this is getting the job done. This is, by the way, 6.76 fluid ounces, which is pretty big. Look at this for a comparison. The Neogen is five fluid ounces. Doesn't this just show you that Packaging just doesn't tell the whole story. Next, I want to use, and by the way, these first two products do have essential oils. After this, nothing else does. But I'm gonna use a product that really surprised me in how much I am enjoying this, and this is the Hamish All Clean Pink Clay Purifying Wash Off Mask. So this is a bit of a funny story. I ended up buying this because I liked another product. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? It was the Rovectin Calamine Ampoule. I, I was really enjoying it, but I wanted more calamine. And what I do like about this is that Hamish does disclose. It is 7% calamine and 7% zinc oxide, 6% kaolin, 4% bentonite. I really appreciate, I really appreciate getting to know exactly how much of that I'm getting in my product. Okay, I'm gonna grab a brush. This is of course very optional, but I wanna just use a very light layer of this and it's a kind of thick product. Calamine seems to go really well on my skin. I think it might be one of those ingredients where it doesn't work for absolutely everybody, but yeah, my skin does respond very well to calamine. Now this mask has quite, quite a list of essential oil ingredients. I'm actually really surprised that my skin is getting along with it as well as it is. And as I've said, maybe I can use this because it's not on my skin that long. They actually say, to cleanse thoroughly with warm water when dry as if it's pulling. And I would say that's only about five minutes for me. I don't need to leave this on too long. Again, it is a clay mask, but it's not too drying. I typically don't like, you know how some clay masks, you just kind of feel like they're sucking the life out of your skin. This one doesn't feel that way to me, but again, it's not a long mask. It's a quick mask for me. A quick mask that actually does seem to leave my skin feeling a lot more calm and yet, a little bit more on the clear side. It's, it's actually really nice. But you know, again, it may not work for everybody because of all those essential oils. So I just rinsed off. We are now onto the toning step with the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is a very watery product that I personally typically prefer to apply as a mist. However, my mister bottle is now housing the SK2. So let's chat about this product and whether it is an SK2 dupe. 
A lot of people say it is, some people say no, it's definitely not because it's not Galactomyces, it's got Saccharomyces in it. I feel like the best place to start is to explain what it is that SK2 does. So SK2 is a product that is rich in Galactomyces ferment filtrate, and I would say in, in short it is great for brightening and hydrating. SK2 for me goes above and beyond because it seems to really help with hyperpigmentation, which I feel it shouldn't. I feel very few products actually help with hyperpigmentation, AHAs aside. So to think that a, a product that doesn't even really have any conventional actives can help with hyperpigmentation, that's why SK2 truly it remains uncontested for me personally. And yet, when you look at the formula of a product like this Neogen, you can see what they're going for. You can see how they are trying to replicate that hydrating and brightening properties. This contains bifida ferment lysate, which is a, a whole new category, saccharomyces ferment filtrate, that's a, a different genus, but again, it is another fungus. They added in rice ferment filtrate, some sake, uh, they added some niacinamide, that's a brightening ingredient in itself. All these amino acids, which can be helpful for hydrating your skin. So it's really a, a formula that is dense in ingredients that will help with those properties that Galactomyces ferment filtrate, as seen in SK2, is beneficial for. But to be totally honest with you, I feel the catch with talking about Galactomyces, Saccharomyces, what have you, is that we're still limited to talking about the genus. And hold on a second, not just are we talking about a genus, but when you add in those words, ferment filtrate, well, how is it fermented? How filtered is it? There's so many variables at play that you can have two products that contain Galactomyces ferment filtrate, take for example the COSRX versus SK2, and yet you could have completely different results from the two. Because those two ingredients, while they look the same, could actually be deeply different. Does that make any sense? I feel like this is a, a very, very nuanced topic. So I do think in the end, and I'm not completely done with this, I'm about halfway through instead, but at this point I feel like this is a really well-made product where the formulators took into consideration how to get those different properties to effectively show results, and yet is it a perfect SK2 dupe? Well, no. Because those ingredients that people love so much could have so much variability, you know, there just could be so much going on with SK2's version of Galactomyces ferment filtrate. Anyway, I like the Neogen. Let's move on. I am absolutely so excited to share this R&W Ceramide Concentrate with you all. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that my skin was a little compromised and I wanted to talk further about that. This has been an incredible serum for me in these times. I just gave myself flashbacks to mid-2020, y'all remember all those commercials? In these times, now more than ever. Oh, this is such a soothing product though. Take a look at these ingredients, they are full of ceramides, full of peptides, some of my favorite ingredients. It's just such a calming formula and it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Let's take a moment to chat about something a bit ironic. Have any of you had this experience where, you know, your, your moisture barrier was compromised, your skin is going through a lot, and so you try products that say things like, oh, I don't know, here's one, Ceramide Booster Serum from Coco Kind. Oh, this should be perfect, right? And then you apply it to your skin and your skin gets more angry, it stings your skin, and you're going, what? You're supposed to be a barrier boosting product, why are you making things worse? It's the skincare equivalent of somehow Palpatine returned. Don't you understand Anakin's sacrifice? Oh, it's so frustrating. The good news is I have found a handful of products that can be used even when your skin is in a compromised state. This is one of them, the Stradia Liquid Gold. Oh my goodness, this plus Stradia Liquid Gold, such a good combo. This is such a well done product and I'm really late to the R&W game. I know a lot of you have said, oh my gosh, you've got to try this brand, it's so good. I, I, I see what you mean now. And now we're gonna move on to the essence step. And I know some of you are going, hold on, what, what is this person doing? Does she know that you are supposed to put serum on after essence? Okay, so the Marion May Blackberry Essence, which is a biface essence that I already shook up earlier, so it would normally be a little more half and half. 
Uh, this is a product that I got so excited about that I went and bought it when it first released. And then I remembered, oh yeah, <laughs> this whole category of kind of more moisturizing essences, I'm actually really bad about using those. I feel like I haven't known where to put them in my routine. I've talked about this before. The reason is because, okay, so you shake it up. This product kind of turns a, a creamy pink, very satisfying. You need only the tiniest amount of this, okay? And that was actually more than I need. Rub it together in your hands and then just pat it in your skin. And it's so interesting because it leaves your skin feeling hydrated and moisturized. But that's a catch-22 for me in terms of, I guess maybe it's the extent of how much I feel my skincare products because I felt that when I use this and then follow with a serum, it's almost that I can feel that serum taking a little bit longer to absorb into my skin. I don't want to say it doesn't absorb. I don't want to, you know, sound misleading in that sense. I certainly think it still does, but it just feels like it takes longer. So lo and behold, after all this time of owning three different products in this category, the Laneige Cream Skin, the Dr. Seurical, and now the Marion May, I finally thought about moving it in my skincare routine. You know, kind of like how I use the Cosrx Nail Essence. And lo and behold, that's been the answer for me. This is perfect. And I was looking at the ingredients and I started thinking maybe this makes so much sense because you can see they're actually disclosing that it has 8% of jojoba oil in it, which is a pretty high amount of a very emollient ingredient. And where do you typically put oils in your skincare routine? You might put them before your moisturizer. And the whole point behind this being by phase is that Marion May says you have a, a cream layer and a hydrating layer. Where do you put creams in your routine after your serums? Anyway, this is all to tell you this has been game changing. I'm, I'm so happy I tried it this way and I feel like this is just another one of those examples of how you know, you might not want to have too rigid of a structure to the way that you approach skincare, because if you do, you might think, well, I, I can't do this. I can't use essence after serum. And yet that's the answer for me with this specific essence. Does all that make sense? Ho hopefully it does. Anyway, this is a beautiful essence. If you like the uh, Dr. Surical, I'm telling you, they feel the exact same. The only difference being that this is a product that emphasizes the blackberry for antioxidants as opposed to the kombucha in the Dr. Surical. And my friends, I have but one final step in today's video, and that is using this product right here from a brand called Lion. This is the Lion Pear Cream. Now, this is a very, very interesting product out of Japan. It is a spot treatment for acne, a product that you use just the tiniest amount of anywhere you're dealing with breakouts. Actually, I shouldn't just say breakouts because it's really specifically for the inflamed type of acne. It contains a topical form of ibuprofen. What? That's so bizarre, right? And as such, it actually does kind of seem to relieve that you know the pain that can be associated with acne? You know how sometimes, so sorry if you don't deal with this, but it's, sometimes it feels like your skin is sort of pulsing. And this is a really simple formula that is just all about that. It actually does have a, a tiny bit of fragrance, but again, it doesn't seem to be bothering my skin. But just so you all know, um, I feel like what I want to say with this is that even though it is a product that I think really helps with inflammation, it's almost such an interesting different type of approach because I don't actually think it really helps to reduce acne. Think of it like this. You know how if you get a headache, you might take an ibuprofen, but it's not going to fix the cause. It's not going to remove the cause rather. It's just going to relieve the symptoms. I feel like this is what this product does. So as an acne treatment, I don't think you could use it alone. You would need to pair this with something else. But if you do deal with that discomfort associated with acne, I think you might really like this. It's super affordable. I bought this on YesStyle for seven, eight dollars, and a little goes a very long way. So it's lasting me a long time. So yeah, it's actually, you know, a really innovative product, even though it's not a, a treatment in the conventional sense. It is unique. And my friends, that brings us to the end of my Korean Beauty Speed reviews. So I don't actually have a new haul of products to start reviewing, but I do have a lot of products from the advent calendars, both of them. So let me know if you'd like me to more in-depth to do more in-depth reviews of those products. That's it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Make sure to vote if you are an American. 
and I will see you all next time.